gonna make some roses with our meats. So all we're gonna do is just layer the meat on top of itself. <laughs> As you can see, I am using a small uh, wine glass. Obviously, the bigger your rim, the bigger your rose. FYI, I'm gonna be doing a Christmas uh, board as well, and this will be in it. <laughs> if you get to that when you do, you can skip it if you want. So now we gotta decide where we want it on our board. And I think I'm gonna put my meats in the middle. See that? That's nice, huh? Just so you know, I am using this Trader Joe's Spicy Uncured Charcuterie Selection with spicy copa, spicy sorpresa salami, and uh, capucola. All right, so we're gonna make two roses out of the two, well, two of the meats, and I'm gonna roll the other ones around the board. So check that out. I'm gonna be using these cheeses for this board. I have a cheddar cheese, I have a cranberry covered goat log, goat cheese log, and triple cream. Guys, use any cheese you want. Just like the meats, you use what you have and what you want, okay? This is what I have for this particular board. So this board should be enough for about six to eight people, you know, nice appetizer. Or if you want it to be a meal, which I do a lot, and I bring the family over, I just make some boards and we all just pick, you know, four or five people, depends how much they eat, okay? I think I'm gonna put these like this. This is gonna be taking shape here. You know, for the hard cheese, I will slice some of it and then leave in a cheese knife in here so people can keep on slicing. Like this, guys, okay? That's how I'm doing it. I have a little bowl with some pomegranate seeds. I'm gonna put it out here. I have some olives. I have some sweet peppers filled with cheese, with cream cheese and feta. I'll put the, eventually I'll put this video up for you guys. Um, it's a really nice keto snack, actually. But we're going to put these uh, let's do these here. No, that's cream with cream. We'll do them here. You know, you don't have to put everything you've made on your board. Just keep some so that you can be refilling as people eat it. I'm gonna put some little bread sticks in a glass, and you know, that little wine glass. I have some little uh, toasts that I, I just cut a baguette and I toasted them. I did them nice and thin. So I'll just put them here next to the goat cheese. I'm gonna fill this in with some cherry tomatoes. 
fun to make, guys. And you can use your imagination. You know, I went scavenging in my kitchen and I found this little thing for the olives. I, I had these, I used these for sushi. So those are good. You know, just go through your kitchen and find things and use your imagination. You'll create something really pretty. I'm going to put some cashews here in these empty places. Roll up that third meat that I have. So now we'll add some crackers here. What do you think? You think we need something else in here? You could put berries. If you want to have a little sweet thing in here, you could put some strawberries, some raspberries, um, cookies. If you want, guys, I think we got plenty like this. Actually, I am going to remove some of these tomatoes and I'm going to add some raspberries. You know, when you have your boards, put little things, uh, utensils for people to serve themselves. I happen to own these cheese knives, so I'm just going to like, put them on top so people can serve themselves. We'll do this one here, and this one here. And I'm also gonna set some plates on the side for people who want them, and of course napkins, and white and red wine. And there you go. There is my board for Thanksgiving, guys. Use your imaginations, create beautiful things, and share them with me. I would love that if you share them on Instagram. Put your pictures on thefrugalchef.com, you know, tag me, so I can see what you came up with. That's so much fun and delicious. Very, very nice way to start a party. Or have a casual meal, like I told you. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna see you soon.